Before starting up the excavator prior to your shift, it is important to carry out a few checks. When the excavator is new and the engine has only been running for a few hours, it is a good idea to take a look at the engine oil level. Even if this check can be done from the cab with the new C-Series, you might feel better doing it the traditional way the first few times. After a while, we are sure that you will come to trust the controls in the cab. Always use the right-hand corner of the excavator when gaining access to the superstructure. Here there is a safe three-point access with handrail and anti-slip steps the entire way up. Avoid any other means of access. Take great care on top of the superstructure and find a comfortable position when checking the engine compartment. Open up the two latches and the engine hood, which has a self-locking upper position. Check the oil and always use a clean paper towel to avoid any contamination on the dipstick. The oil level should be between the minimum and maximum level, and if not, then correct it accordingly. This is the traditional way of checking the engine oil, but you can check the oil level more easily from the cab on the display. Visually inspect the compartment to see if there is any leakage or damage components. Take the necessary action if anything is wrong. It always pays to be proactive and will ultimately result in increased uptime. Close the hood and lock it with both latches and go down the same way as you came up. It is a good idea to have a look in the battery compartment. Check to see that the batteries are covered because there is also space here for tools and the fuel filling pump. The fuel filling pump is an option and the cap on the hose should be tight. Always use the handrail and the anti-slip steps when climbing down. It is easy to slip and fall. However, if you use the recommended means of access onto the Volvo excavator, you should be safe. Make it a rule to use the main switch daily. Turn it on in the morning and off in the evening. No power from the batteries can be distributed until the main switch is on. Carry out a visual check in the main pump compartment. It is easy to do and will ultimately save both time and money in unnecessary repair costs. The fuel filter water separator might need to be drained if there is still some water remaining. Check the radiator and coolers for any damage. If you are working in a confined environment, check that the coolers are not clogged. Clogged coolers could result in poor performance or overheating. Clean the coolers and radiator as soon as you see too much debris on the surface. Located behind the cab is the electrical box and the engine air filter. The air filter needs to be clean in order to get the highest engine output. Follow the maintenance intervals carefully in the operator manual. It is now time to take a walk around the digging equipment and visually check it. The hydraulic lines may have become slightly damaged at some time and you haven't noticed the leakage yet. Check all connections, pipes and hoses for any external damage. Normally cracks do not occur in the boom or arm, but you can never be sure, especially if you're working in extremely harsh conditions or very cold climatic zones. It pays to take a closer look. The bucket linkage is another place to check because dirt or small pieces of rock can easily get in between the components. After these checks, you can feel confident to enter the cab. After first making sure that it's folded out, use the step on the crawler frame and the two handrails on the cab. One handrail is located in the outer left-hand side and one on the right inside the cab. This will give you a three-point safe access to the roomy Volvo Care Cab. When working eight to ten hours a day, it is extremely important that the operator is afforded the best possible comfort. The operator seat is one of the best on the market, and after utilizing all the adjustments, you will find it extremely comfortable. 
A comfortable operator is able to produce more at the end of the day, so it is important to do all that you can to feel as well as possible in the cab. Check in the sight glass that the adjustment is correct. Adjust the seat and the seat platform so that your legs fit the pedals and your arms the joysticks. There are many adjustment possibilities. Refer to the operator manual for all the details. Check all mirrors and adjust them if they're positioned incorrectly. Think about safety and use the safety belt. If you feel unsure about anything, then refer to the operator manual. Check the procedure, what to do before starting. When the key is turned to its first position, you will see the engine oil level on the display. If it is in the red area below minimum, the oil must be refilled before starting the engine. If the level is in the green area, you can turn the key. Do not forget, it is necessary to have the red control lockout lever folded down. After starting the engine, fold up the control lockout lever to activate the hydraulic circuits and close the door for the best comfort. Now you are ready to start your working day.